Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? We are back to play The Wolf Among Us. There are some extras. Jeez, that's loud. Uh, player choices. Let's see. I didn't know there. Were, I did any choices yet. Oh, did you give faith your money? Eighty-four percent of players did. Fifty-nine percent of players lied. Wow, I actually thought I'd be a minority on that one. But uh, huh. There's Book of Fables. I don't really feel like checking that out. Unless you guys really think that's important. Uh, I'm not really sure what's important in this game anymore. Uh, but yeah, we're going to continue episode 1. Where we left off, we were looking at a coat. And it started lagging on me. So I stopped it. And it might start lagging again. Because it stopped lagging after a while. But let's just hope it doesn't lag. It's a jacket. Wait, is the guy under it dead or something? Oh shit! <laughs> well, it's not a guy. Thought it was that guy that was sleeping you would be dead or something. Knew this girl? Damn, is man. She's not a Monday, right? I don't know what that is. Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She was a prostitute. Really? And you would know why? I never caught her <laughs> real name. Oh. Yeah. She's got a piece of paper in her mouth. It looks, it looks like he it. attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. Oh, it's so it's him. Took me a second to realize what I was even looking at. So, did you see anyone else? No, <clears throat> no one. No cabs, no voices, Mondays? Maybe, but no, I don't think so. I would remember. Okay. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic. Uh, I think on. somebody's doing this on purpose to mess with them, because why would they just leave it on a stair step? You know, like Have they try to hide that or something, right? Don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Or maybe they dropped it and just ran off, and then I don't know. Probably. Something like that. It's probably the something woodsy, very the sharp. woodsy man. There's something with magic attached to it, like an axe. It's. She was placed here with some care. But I what thought he was mean? dead. You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed. Yeah. For us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Paper or uh Oh. Oh, tapeworm it's kinda crap. A ribbon. There's uh, some kind of symbol here. Hmm. I, I don't <clears throat> recognize it. Neither do I. Sorry, this is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what, what do you want to do next? 
investigate more or leave? Is this an important decision that will get people killed? Hope not. I'm we still have some more. time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. On the, oh, is there like no no no? Let's go by that blood stain. There was blood over here. Let's not touch it and mess with it. Let's look at it first. I can touch it though. I don't know why I would want to mess blood. with the evidence. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour maybe. <clears throat> Uh <coughs> <coughs> Jesus, I have a car. Uh, fabric. No signs that it's been here long. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. trail I found earlier. Ah, you see what this is going on now. So the guy left it there and to get out he must or maybe someone was coming, so he, he ran out here, moved the trash can right there, he jumped on top of it, jumped over this, fucked up, it fell over, and then like scratched himself on here. And maybe a piece of fabric flew over this way and then with the wind kinda blew it, I guess. I don't know. Hey, I'm not a detective here. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. Some random person. Okay, you, what? Is there nothing really in here? The garbage men can even find their way here. Well, that's it. All right, we good then. Oh well, let's go. I guess. How do I leave? Oh, I can show you it. What are you doing? <laughs> Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. <clears throat> we should move her before anyone shows up. You'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big B, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Her. This is a message. <clears throat> a message? I don't know, Bigby. I get complaints <coughs> at the office all the time, but just what about this makes you think that? Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact, purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Well, yes. I guess you're right. Killer wanted us to know what they had done. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of him. We should wait until we have more to tell her. Right now, all we know is a girl is dead. Telling Crane doesn't change that. I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. That sounds reasonable, but I I'll think about it. I just don't want him interfering. <coughs> Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office.
What, are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? What the you get hell? to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. God damn it. I'm taking cuts. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna pause it for a little bit. Is that supposed to be funny? There we go. You see anyone here laughing, Sheriff? I am really getting pissed off. Yes, I see. You because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. <clears throat> The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course Don't I do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. What's any mean? shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. Say it. I we'll clicked get on, on it, it right away. No, sure. come on, man. You would have just pissed him off it. more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, I guess I should have listened to you and waited. Yeah, Wasn't gonna should. say I told you so. You don't have to say it. It would have been better to have more to offer. Get our ducks in a row. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. What an asshole. Yep. That was about an eight on the asshole scale. Asshole scale? Well, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Is... is he gone? <clears throat> yes, thankfully. What the hell is that thing? <laughs> That's kind of creepy. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. That How guy's are you creepy, today, Mr. Bigby. It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. <clears throat> I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. A mirror? Hello, Vivian? Is that the magic lamp? Snow White, Mr. Crane's assistant. Hi, yes. I'm just <laughs> I could get a genie to come out? Are you for real right now? This is awesome. Try. 
Aww. Yes, that's right. Damn it. I'm trying to go talk to the mirror. I guess. Hey, magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. <laughs> Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a <laughs> hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work! <laughs> Still looking! Show me Snow White. It's like right behind you. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Show me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. <sighs> Maybe now we can find their name. Start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Beauty in happier days. <clears throat> oh, I s is that him? Hmm. Me. <laughs> and that's the woodsman. And him. The woodsman? <laughs> yep. And his axe. Story was. That's her, right? You're getting warmer, but that's me. Yeah, dwarves. Less said about that, the better. <laughs> wow. Uh, is this the beast? Beast. The pigs. Colin and his brothers. He blew down his house. I've seen this before on that ring this symbol on the man's clothes it's the same as the rings could be her father or husband this has most of the emblems of the old days and usually what family they come from if it's in here we'll have her name Oh, are you serious? I have to read? Uh, sweet. I love reading. Oh, look, the ring. Oh, wow. Oh, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? <clears throat> Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelairo. I'll go look it up. Alelairo. That means every kind of fur in German. 
Donkey Skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey Skin Girl, also known as Donkey Skin, also known as <laughs> Ass Skin, <laughs> prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Mm. Cool story, bro. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than Her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Nothing would surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. Well then, let's go. I guess you want me to look in this too? Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing? I only translate. Oh, so on that girl's neck there was a cut and there was magic. And isn't blessed, in a way, it's kind of magic, uh, if you think about it, really weirdly. What's that? It reads... Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. Yeah, did I read everything? I think I read everything. Hmm. Yeah, I read everything there is to read. I think I got everything. I'm gonna go now. Bye bye. Of course, I can't fucking leave. What's stopping me? Let's go talk to him already. Use the tarot desk. Deck, Strength. I mean. I guess it comes in all forms. Come on, man. What am I looking for now? I rubbed the lamp. I looked through the book. Ah, uh, okay, um... Um, pumpkin head guy. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. <laughs> What's that? Your boss. His finest <coughs> moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. What am I looking for now? Come on. I looked at everything in here. Oh, I didn't see Toad. Nice hat. Yeah, I forgot the fucking mirror. Yeah, that's right. I gotta talk to him. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, Abel, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of hmm. which fable do you wish to know? Show me. Show me faith. 
through powerful magic her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, baby. It's simply the way this has to be. Mm -hmm. well, awesome, thanks, bro. Show me Faith's father, the old king. He's that dead. crosses him off the suspect list. <clears throat> He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Oh. What's he been doing? Bloody dagger. Where is, is this? Where's what? Sitting there. Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a <clears throat> prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Let's go. Goodbye. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. About time. Sorry, I have to get that. Seriously? Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby. It's for you. <coughs> Big B, it's me, Doug. You there? What do you want? Big B, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Big B, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. 